away, it doesn't quite matter. So I'm here, guys. Come where you can see. Go gable grip. Over here. Now, I'm looking at his hands. Which arm am I arm barring? This one. His knuckles are facing his head. Okay? Now, with the gable grip, if I pull straight, it makes it tighter. If I push his right, or my right, into the left, I make it tighter. So I want to pull them apart where they're weakest. Okay? To do this, my right hand, since I'm going to my right, is going to go under my elbow, inside my thigh. Make a fist. My forearm on his wrist. My thumb will tell me which way I'm going. Okay? If you're ever in question, point your thumb. Does it go the same way as his knuckles? It'll work. All right? Make a fist and teacup your own hand. Okay? If you ever shot a revolver, you know what teacupping is. We're going to dig in the feet, as always, pinch the knee. And I'm going to put my shoulder on the floor and then make a half circle rotation back. So I'm going to extend his arm and then peel the hands apart where they're weakest. All right? So we're going towards the knuckles. This puts a lot of weight on his head. And it also puts the hands in a weak position. And I'm going to roll until my body's straight. And it pops out. One more time. Knuckles to the right. Right arm under. Thumb tells me the direction I'm going. Teacup your fist. Shoulder to the floor. Tension in the leg, roll back. Remember, thumb is always up. This works both directions. <coughs> if his hand, his knuckles are facing his feet, that's fine. I go to my left. Teacup, down. Now here, I'm gonna be heavy on his body no matter what. So I gotta be sure to crush his head and do the same thing, okay? Either direction works. You just gotta look which way, which way his knuckles are facing. All right? Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs>